The three that affect me the most are mast cell activation disorder, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, and postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Now imagine what it would be like to not be able to live a normal life. Not because you're abducted by aliens or live in a strange place, but because you're simply allergic to everything that most people aren't. Where simply existing has become a life or death fight for survival on a daily basis. Where virtually anything around you could potentially kill you. Well, this is the case for one California woman. 20-year-old Ashley Fisher is said to have a rare immune disorder that causes her to have an allergic reaction to virtually everything. Now I'm talking about simple things like the smell of food, restaurants, perfume, cleaning chemicals, flowers, car exhaust, even the weather, and the list kept on building. In July of 2015, the condition was diagnosed by cardiologist Dr. Canham, and it's called mast cell activation disorder, or mastocytosis, where an excess number of mast cells gather in the body's tissues, where this triggers swelling, rashes, and itchy skin. Where in the process, the cells mistake harm substances such as pollen for infectious germs and triggers a severe allergic reaction and in severe cases it causes anaphylactic shock even the medication that she was given for her condition would cause these kinds of reactions and at one point she was even on 14 different medications now because of Ashley's strange condition she basically had to be hidden away in her room not being able to go to school to the mall or simply going outside to enjoy the fresh air she was confined to her home where her home basically became like a little prison cell for her and her diet was minimized to four foods that she was not allergic to carrots sweet onions celery and garlic. Now imagine what a mashup of that would taste like. But not only that, but eating this on a daily basis. Now it wasn't until her family met a naturopathic doctor, Dr. Robert Janda, who used the method of desensitization to treat her. And since then, her condition has improved drastically, where she's now able to walk around without her wheelchair or her walker. She's also been able to introduce several new foods into her diet. Now it's reported that she still does have a few allergies, but it's strongly assumed that things will get better with a little bit more time, considering her drastic improvement so far. And before I wrap up, I wanna know from you guys, what would you do if you had a condition that pretty much restricted you from doing most of the things that it is that you're used to doing right now? Go ahead and leave your comments in the comment section below. And just like that, there goes another episode. So if you haven't done so already, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And we love your comments, so leave your beautiful comments in the comment section below. And if you guys wanna go ahead and stop me on social media, you guys can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Google+. And don't forget to click on one of the annotations on the screen because they'll take you to either our website or some of the previous episodes. And feel free to go ahead and browse around my channel because you'll find a whole bunch of different YouTube related uh, videos as well as facts on videos where I talk about a lot of facts about right now it's basically celebrities but I'm getting into a lot of facts on just everything so go ahead and do that and uh, that's pretty much it this video is a wrap and I'll catch you guys in the next episode